When I was a little kid, all I did was wear my Pokemon sweater to school every single day, I talked about Pokemon at lunch and recess, and then when I went home, I collected the TCG. I was obsessed, and I'm so proud to say that at 26, I'm still just as obsessed, and I thought, what would Lando want the most? When I was a little kid, I dreamt about the coolest opening setup ever, and today, I made my dream come true. guys enjoyed the new studio just as much as me but without further ado we've got a brand new booster box to crack open i am so excited because we are opening up the brand new pokemon card set pokemon sword and shield evolving skies now this is absolutely awesome because this comes out in about two weeks time august 27th but it features not only the main man requaza on the front which has that ridiculous gorgeous looking alternate artwork requaza card so expensive in japanese i think it'll be the same in english but you've got the other mascot, Deraludin. But no one really cares about that too much because are you waiting for this? When you swing the box around, <gasps> this set features none other than an Umbreon V Max that looks ridiculous. I'm gonna put an image on screen right now of the Japanese version. We're going hunting for the English one, and then on the other side, a huge fan favorite of Sylveon. Now, there is a card that's not featured on like any of the artwork, no mascot on here. But something I still really want to get in Japanese, it's the Leafeon Alternate Artwork card. So, we've got all these evolutions to hunt down, we've got these brand new Rayquaza arts to try and get, there's like 6,000 Rayquaza cards. And without further ado, thanks to the Pokemon company, sent straight from the Pokemon factory, we're going to crack open a brand new Evolving Skies booster box in the brand new studio. I am so pumped up, I really hope this studio has good pulls. This is the first ever product we're opening in here, so if everyone could demolish the like button, send me all your positive vibes, and let's get oh, the seal of approval off right now. Look at this. This right here, oh gosh. It's a brand new set and a brand new booster box. The pressure that comes with opening the first pack is always ridiculous. But let's prop it right there. This looks gorgeous. I'm loving the new like crystal clear camera setup as well. I hope you guys enjoy it as well. What do you think of the hand-drawn background? Up there it says Unlisted Leaf, and then all the trees are falling Pokemon cards instead of leaves. Unlisted Leaf, hopefully you get it. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's open up a uh, first Evolving Skies booster pack and see what our pulls are going to be like. Umbreon art to kick things off. Top 10 favorite Pokemon of all time. Pack art looks absolutely gorgeous. That like forest tree looking background, similar to my Unlisted Leaf background there. Oh wow. Pikachu to start things off. The code cards, I think, are going to be the same. Like, solid green's going to be not a good pull, and then the white and green should be a good one. But let's swing it around. Nothing's confirmed just yet. And let's get this party started. First pack ever. We've got a water type. Then we've got a Zoopalopalopolis. As you can see, the dragon type has the three claws down the side. Got that Nuzleaf. Got the Golduck as well. Looking decent. Lovely Pikachu. Uh, uh, okay. We, we've got upside down. Oh my. This is exactly what happened in my chilling rain. Does everyone remember that? Upside down Kavana. This was fresh. You, you saw that. I literally opened the seal of approval and we had an upside down card. Got a Lillipop. A Molga. I'd imagine this is like the very first print run though. Shopping center reverse and a Lilligan as the regular rare. That's interesting. But let's keep it going guys. Oh dude. I wonder if we can get sort of error box. Like more than one secret rare. I'm hoping that because, like, this card is really big, like, look at that, 203 on the regular set, not even including the uh, Secret Rares. I'm hoping that they throw in a guaranteed alt art or guaranteed, like, couple of full arts because of the size of the set. But we'll find out. Let's keep it going. Zwopalopalopolis once again, already doubling up on a few commons and uncommons. What are you most keen for, though? I'm really curious. That's an amazing artwork. Whoa. Side up coming through. Got the ice coo, riding an ice coo, and an Appleton, everyone's favorite apple pie right there. You can see my uh, shadow, look at that, you can see the hair, that's funny. Appleton right there, that's awesome. Wrote two regular reds to kick things off. Oh no. Come on, studio vibes. But yeah, let me know what you're really keen to get, um, because I think with this set, a lot of people were complaining that with Chilling Rain, there was like a couple of cards they wanted to get, you know, with battle styles, maybe one or two cards. But when they saw this, the, like this set right here, it's an Eevee Lucian cross Rayquaza mascot set. 
everyone's like, dude, there are like 50 cards that I need to try and get. So let's find out what a ratio for a booster box is. And then we can sort of work out how hard it's going to be to collect everything. Got the Mareep Reverse. Shout out to Mareep, which is right there right now. And then none other than a Galaceon V-Card as our very first pull. And it's an Evolution. I will 100,000% take that. Oh, dude. This is going to be an absolute epic set to try and collect. Getting all the Evolutions as V-Cards and then the alternate artworks as well. Man, it's going to be a uh, rough ride. But... Frozen Awakening and Heavy Snow. All right, Glaceon, you look gorgeous. Look at that shine. I love that with this new studio, we can really see the texture. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, let's put you behind Pikachu at the back right there. And let's keep it going. Got a Sylveon now. I love the uh, mascots too. Very beautiful set. I think this might be one to watch and like uh, hold on to maybe like... It's just a fun set to crack open, and I think it will be for a while. It's definitely not one that will fizzle away. So we got Rescue Carrier, Crystal Cave, got the Avalug, got the Tentacle as well, Dino, Hippity Hop, got the Mareep, Wobbuffet looking good, Applin, and then a Size Toad. Okay, let's start going a bit faster, because if I know, like, it happens every time we open a brand new set, but the moment I start, like, gawking over all these cards is the moment, like, these videos go for uh, 2 hours and 30 minutes off in the back. Hopefully you enjoyed as much as me. I think it's just like, it's the inner Pokemon card lover in me. It's like, oh, brand new set, brand new cards I haven't seen. I've seen a few of them in Japanese, but not all of them translate. So we've got the drowsy looking extra creepy. Got the scraggy. Bag on running down a hill. That's what I did as a kid. Then I'd trip over and go flying. Reverse Litleo, and then the Milotic as the regular rare. Alright, Rapid Strike logo was on the Milotic as well. So the Rapid Strike logos are back. Look at this. I love the art. Oh, I really do. And the shine of the pack. Gorgeous. It's got the barcode. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I swear there was shine. That's crazy. I thought I saw a rainbow rare for a minute. Freaking out. Then I saw the um, solid green. Look, one of the cards was upside down, little Timmy. So I don't put it past them. Chucking a rainbow rare with a solid green. That's a good art. Okay, let's get going. Love this new autofocus on this camera too. The fact that like it gets the cards and then pulls on the back as well. Ah, uh, it's small things guys. I'm just so happy how this whole new studio turned out and it's like my dream ever since I was a kid to have a cool space to unbox. I love that this is a reverse by the way, just quickly. Galarian Articuno reverse. Putting that in the back, I actually really like that. Scoutland is a regular rare. Very in-depth artwork. Who remembers that place in the video game? But yeah, I don't know. I think ever, ever since I was a little kid, I was like, if I could have a whole bedroom just dedicated to Pokemon card openings and all things Pokemon cards, Eevee, Pikachu, unlisted leaf like leaves with the forest backgrounds, it's my dream and it's all because of you guys so thank you so much and I really do hope you enjoyed as much as me and we create like some ridiculous memories in here. I mean just think, the first ever good pull we got was a Glaceon V. So really like we kicked it off with a bang. I wonder what our first ever ultra rare is going to be. So many big moments today. Got a Swablu, Zora, got a Cro this was a white and green by the way, digging gloves, <laughs> whoa look at that, everyone's favourite bartender, Ludicolo, look at the holo, gorgeous, love what they've done with this set, okay, so we've got Galarian Articuno Reverse, Ludicolo is the holo, and a Glaceon V, really hoping that we like, kick it into gear I guess, we start getting some ridiculous hits, because I'm just going to feel bad if someone like, Decides they want to collect the whole set, aka Uncle Ando. This is going to be like a three booster case banger to get it all. I couldn't even imagine what the ratio for getting that alternate artwork Rayquaza is. Especially when it was so sought after. This is, look at that. Cameo Rayquaza and Eevee. Gorgeous. Cutie fly, got the Hitmonchan. Dino reverse, and there we go! Umbreon, this is awesome! Umbreon as the flipping VMAX card right there. That's what you want to get. This box so far has been sensational. I'm talking all the hits have been evolutions. Glaceon and Umbreon VMAX. This was a huge one in Japan. Look at the texture, guys. Whoa, this is epic. Oh, I'm so happy. Umbreon's my top 10 favorite Pokemon like of all time. Always loved him. Even before the hype, I swear I was like, Team Umbreon all the way. Dude, I even love the regular version. Like, doesn't even have to be the shiny version. Gosh, that's adorable. And the fact I think we got an Eevee portrait at the back for an Eevee Lotion set is so fitting. Umbreon VMAX. 
yes, this set's gonna be sick to collect. Cause I think like the thing is right, you could double up on a card like that. You wouldn't care. I would happily double up on any of the evolutions. Then again, I'd happily double up on any of the requazas. I think we're just gonna try and find them. And also bookmark today's video and come back to it on the 27th or like whenever the TCG unlocks online and you'll be able to claim all the codes because right now you can't claim the codes. They won't unlock because it's too early from the set's release. So come back to this video. Kiram, that's awesome. Kiram Reverse and Ethival. Yeah, come back to this video in about two weeks time. You can bookmark it and you should be able to claim a few of the codes. And hopefully enough people do that and you guys can have all the codes here. Have a little online unboxing, like the midnight release version. Swooback, got the digging gloves, got the fletchling, Xin Xiao, got the pet lil. What do you think? Here we go, Teddy Ursa. Got the Vigoroth reverse and a Ceylon flame as the regular rare. I think we picked like the regular rare to start with, the regular rare side, the right hand side here. Okay, open you up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Leafeon VMAX alternate art. That's all I like, that's my number one card. That's my chase card and that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. Is if you wanna search for that card, definitely like the video. And if we get maybe 15,000 likes or 10,000 likes, I'll know you're keen as me to go hunting for that Leafeon VMAX or art, unless we get it today. Oh, Vokorona has a V card. I bet this is the guaranteed one in every box. There's always a V card that's always guaranteed and I think this will probably be it. Dude, okay, Vokorona as the V. Not the end of the world, we're gonna need it, especially when we're trying to build the binder, complete the set. Uh, as much as everyone probably doesn't want to pull this one, it's all right, okay, put that in the back. It's actually not too bad. Haven't actually finished the right hand side and we've got three hits, one being an Umbreon VMAX. We have got a holo and a reverse too that's actually really good. All right, let's open you up. We're gonna get anything else. Ooh, potentially, this could be good. This could be a good move. Let's go forth from the back. How's the uh, lighting looking? Hopefully lighting's all good, but again, as I said, this is my first ever video, first ever recording in this room, so I'm working it out with you guys right now, but I'm pretty happy with how the walls were painted because as soon as the painting finished, I was like, I gotta record. Look at the artwork, slack off. Okay, Glossopher, Love Disc, Reverse Hippopotamus, and it's gonna be a Reverse Florgeous. Gosh, I love the way the cards pop. These look absolutely gorgeous, I gotta say. Florgeous, looking gorgeous. Holy card at the back, there's four left. Requaza, come on, come on, come on. We haven't pulled the ultra either, guys. The art, the full art, the alternate art, whatever it's gonna be, the rainbow rare, it's still in here somewhere. And we've almost finished this side. I'll clear all of that off and then we'll get to the next one. Whoa, bump the camera a little bit. Got the unlisted leaf, which is usually a good sign. Flaffy, which is an even better sign. Got the scraggy, Feebas, Hitmonchan. Got the slack off. Pet Lil, it's a flapple. I will take that 100%. Who remembers when we opened that Pokey Collects mystery box and I found out that Flapple had a full art card? Could have been the best day of my life. What happened to this pack? It got mauled. The poor thing, oh no, okay. Let's uh, save this guy. Oh no, another. Okay, let's just, okay, there we go. There, this is a mess of a pack, there's the code. And then we're gonna go four from the back, so there's a sword and shield set, and we're gonna save it. I did it, yes, look at this. All right, so lightning, then we're gonna rum a bee, got the flappy, it's all gonna rhyme, isn't it? Applin, Sableye, Nickit, Burgemite, and then again, as the reverse, Anatropius, regular rare. Back on the Umbreon grinds. Halls are few and far in between, but maybe we just got the box that could be leaning towards something. Again, haven't got the big here. So maybe that's the case. And can I just say for a minute, there are so many gold cards to try and track down in this set. Um, it, the, the list is so long for me to even just rattle off right now, but just know there is a full page of gold cards for us to try and get. So I wouldn't even be surprised if randomly inserted, we go and find a shiny gold card full out of some kind. I don't know what it would be, but that also wouldn't surprise me. Jeez. Some of these uh, packs, I don't want to stuff it up. Put you to the side. No, it's another solid green. It's doing me the nasty. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to keep going though. Fire type, got the copycat, which comes as a full art card and a rainbow rare. Very, very popular. Everyone is looking for that one as well. Woobat, Eevee again, time pole. Scoutland, regular rare. Second to last Rayquaza. Then we've opened up 
the first 18 boosters. Here we go. Second to last pack's coming through with a white and green. This is always good. Let's go four from the back. Is everyone on the edge of their seat? Everyone thinking, Ando, what are you going to get? What's inside of this Pokemon Factory scent? Evolutions or Evolving Skies. I was about to say Evolution Skies booster box. C dot. Oh, that's not too shabby. Dialga's got a holo. Okay, fair enough. I'll take it. Getting a lot of hollows. So, and maybe they implemented more of a holo hit rate than the last time. I remember Chilling Rain was a very like easy set on the hollows. Didn't get too many. Then again, there wasn't that many to collect. But maybe the hollows have come back in this set. But let's find out. <sighs> oh, all right. I'm going to quickly tidy the studio up after this. Get all these cards off and we'll finish off strong with the uh, left hand side of the booster box which I'm hoping has that full uh, or ultra rare and we didn't get a dud box. The chance of getting a dud box I'd like to think are like zero because of how big the set is. That is sick, that is fantastic, the Reggies! And a wishy-washy regular rare. Interesting way to end it. I'll finish with this bad boy right here, give me two seconds, I'll tidy the set up and then we'll get into the second half of the box. Alrighty ladies and gentlemen, is everybody ready for the second half of this Evolving Skies booster box right now? These are all the boosters we got remaining and that's it. I'm talking I've got to wait two weeks until the set comes out and then I can go down the, you know, the local Walmart or whatever and go purchase my next booster box. So we're going to really make this count. If I'm going to get a nice little binder that I can start making up, I'm going to need a bigger here. I'm going to potentially need a white and green code if you know what I'm cooking. So, oh, okay, unlisted leaf energy. This is a good sign. Swibat, got the lombre. Da, 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 da. Going for a swim. Sableye, Burgemite. You ready, guys? I'm too excited. There's definitely something at the back. You ready? Santa call reverse. And there we go. It's Draco Salt VMAX. I thought it was an evolution for a second, but I'm going to take another VMAX here. As I said, brand new set. We're going to need every single card we can get. And this time, it's Draco Salt VMAX. But I'm interested though, what are your thoughts on Draco Zolt? I know it's a bit of a mixed bag, I think a lot of people do like him, but I know a lot of people don't uh, enjoy him as a card, as a Pokemon too much, so... What are your thoughts? I think it's fine, VMAX is definitely like, they've given him a bit of love, but not all the love. So, I'll take a VMAX of Draco Zolt right here. Look at that texture, I'm loving it, sorry. Dude, this is sick. Okay, so another VMAX in the bag, but again, I don't think that's anything too crazy. I don't think that's taken away at like the Ultra Rare slot. I don't think that's, um, I just think that's doing what it does. You know, booster boxes generally have a couple of VMAXs in there, maybe two at the minimum. I'd say, oh, four at the maximum. Like, ooh, you'd have to be really lucky to get four, but I'd like to think that the other VMAXs are coming in the form of like an Ultra Rare. Alternate artwork, full art, VMAX, whatever. Feebas, Hitmonchan in the rain, that literally is a training montage cut from the new Rocky movie. Hitmonchan, slack off, look at him. Just uh, climbing the mountain with one hand and a flapple. Any, anyone else like a little bit, a little bit nervous now that you've seen the VMAXs. You've seen how like big the set is and you're getting like, well, don't know how we'd go about getting two full arts out of this box, so I'm praying that the one full art that we get is just going to be a mixed spicy bangarooski. You know when you order a four-piece chicken nuggets and you get six? That's kind of what I'm going to go and hope for right now. Eevee with the cameo Rayquaza, cutie fly been drawn by a three-year-old, we've got the Rhyma Bee! And a gorgeous Elder Goss, which also seeps into the, I think it's the coughing artwork. So that's a bit of a hint towards another card that's in the set. Put Elder Goss at the back. Chunky Chew, you gotta protect the cards. All right. Deraludin is the pack guy. I don't want to be like too mean, but I don't want a Deraludin VMAX. <laughs> if I'm to ask for something else, can it be like a Rayquaza, please? Um, I, yeah, that's the one mascot I'm like, ah. Oh. If I get it, it's okay, because I do need it, but like, I just really want an Ultra Rare Bangarooski. I'd even take a, like as much as, with this set, it's so different because I actually don't want a shiny gold card. If I get a shiny gold card, great. I don't think it'll affect the ratio. But I want to alter the artwork so bad. Because they're actually ridiculously good in this set. They look so good. Mareep, Flapple Reverse, that's awesome. Tail on Flame. Seriously? Seriously, that's it. That is the chunk that we are looking at. What do you think of the nice yellow though? I'm kind of digging the yellow vibes of the uh, packs and the booster box we got. Okay, seriously, white and green? You're going to have to start pulling it out. Who's ready? Let's go. I'm excited. Psychic. Ice Coup. Scroll. Crossle. 
Then we're gonna follow up B B B B, Psyduck, Swablu, C Dot, and then none other. It's just another Noivern in another Pokemon card set. What do you think? Are you a fan of Noivern getting another Pokemon card? I don't really care. Oh, <laughs> this is too funny. We're getting these mascots, these cards that sort of just come in every, um, just, yeah, I, I just guess they'd come in every booster box. I can't imagine they're too difficult to pull, but it's okay. This is the very first one. Noivern, you go at the back. Just want to get... Whatever the ultra rare is, we are dwindling closer and closer to the final couple. There's that code card. Let's go four and swing it around. Everyone with me, right? Literally, cross your toes, little Timmy. Fingers, toes. Let's go. Pyro, Tentacle, Pump Kaboo, Bag on. Do you want a binder update tomorrow? If you guys really love this set, um, let me know. Is it worth getting a booster case? Is it worth me uh, harassing the Pokemon Company for a couple more ETBs? Whatever you guys want, let me know. What do you think the method to try and track down my Leafeon alternate artwork card is going to be? I'm thinking a booster case because I really enjoy those. Oh, I really enjoy those videos. Um, but let's just see what we can get today. Drowsy, Fletchlinder, oh, Appleton. That's our third one, I'm pretty sure. So it's interesting the amount we are doubling up at the moment, but that's okay that code card once again as i said bookmark the video come back to it on august 27th when the set comes out and it's a bit of a it can be a bit of a party because everyone's going to be able to cash in the codes hopefully get the alternate artworks of requaza amolga nuzleaf sharpedo is everyone on the edge of their seat because it's going to happen at any moment hand-drawn requaza can we do it the ray ray out of the ray ray pack open this one up there's that code. There you guys go. I wish the codes were facing the other way. Sometimes you get super lucky the way... It, I think it depends on the battery that the Pokemon cards are printed in. Um, depending on what way the booster is facing. But as we saw, this battery put in a card backwards on the first pack. Which is quite funny. Drumper again. Come on, Deriludent. I'd even take a Deriludent at this point. Okay, white and green. Those white and greens just look... They look extra piney. Look extra green, don't they? Or from the back. Love it when they look extra green. I bet this is another hollow. But let's have a look. Got a resolve, hit Mondale, Tentacle, Kavana, Golosopher, Fletchlind. Then we got a Hippopotamus. You think another hollow? I knew it slacking as the hollow this time. Single strike. That single strike logo, I'm always terrified, and it really does look like quite a powerful single strike uh, <laughs> attack right there. Jeez, all right, hollows are in full force in uh, Evolving Skies. I'm gonna put it out there. Interesting. What do you make of the ratio so far? Oh, okay, okay. I think I saw some sparkle and I'm hoping that this time it was the legit sparkle. Here we go, Unlisted Leaf once again. You always know it's a mixed spicy bangarooski when there's a bit of sparkle and there's an Unlisted Leaf and there's a white and green. Bag on. I also wouldn't mind a Dragonite. There's also a Dragonite card in this I'd love to get. It is none other. Yes, yes, Waterfall! Sensational! Yeah. Holy Archimiva in West Virginia! Yes! If there is one card you're gonna wanna get, it's an alternate artwork evolution. Let it be the Espeon flipping alternate art. Bruh! <laughs> This is the studio, that's Eevee right there, and we got an alternate artwork, Espeon V. All artwork, that is awesome. That's going front and center of my binder. We still have packs to open, so there could be better stuff in here, but I highly doubt it. This is the pinnacle of like collecting. Oh! Dude, that looks unbelievable. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Yo, I knew, I knew something had to be coming up. Like, this set is too big for them no, not to put in one ridiculous pull. Bro. Oh, okay, I gotta calm down. It's a little bit miscut, maybe. Like, that's thicker than that, but I don't care. I don't... Oh, my gosh, this is so cool. I love the way the books come out. I even said when I collected the Japanese version, I was like, if I want one card, this is definitely one of them. Espeon's such a big favourite. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. I want to hear it all. Oh, no 
way. That's so good. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> Calm down. We still got packs to open, all right? Let's try and see what we can get. It could be a randomly inserted gold card. It could be anything. I'm just freaking out. That's awesome. Oh my God. I'm so happy with that. It makes me want to open up more of the EV Heroes Japanese boxes, but seeing as this set's coming out, we might as well just keep opening this. Could you imagine a booster case then? If that's the caliber of one box, imagine getting an entire case. You would get so many awesome hits. You get such good looking cards. The texture on that one, unreal. This is epic. And we got my uh, Umbreon VMAX. So this box has now got the OR Espeon and the Umbreon. Bro, this is awesome. Okay, really excited for the recap. If you want to skip to that, I don't even blame you. Um, if you're like short on time, just go straight to the recap and watch what we got. But this is sensational. Storming Mountains and a Lilligan. We've only got five packs to go though. So we are right on the end of this box. And I love that it had to wait all the way to the end to start coming out with stuff like that. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, you can't wait to smile off my face. I just keep thinking about it. But I am curious if we're going to get something else. Lillipop, Nicket, Burgemite. Because the thing is, right, when you open a set this early, you got nothing to go off. you got no, like, ratios of people that have opened it. Go look! That's right! And not only is this a V card, it's got a gorgeous looking alt art as well. I know I've said alt art too many times to count in this video, but honestly, like, they are really good looking cards, and I love what they're doing with them. And this guy does have a nice hand-drawn one. A lot of cameos. Oh, this is good, okay. I'm sorry, nothing's just gonna live up to the Espeon. Fourth to last one. Requires a time. Let's go. Come on, boys. Everyone get your laser vision going. And just channel a good pull. I reckon this will be a hollow. There's no way we're getting back-to-back -back Vs and then a V Max or something like that. Got a bravery. Ice pop. Tentacruel, Pet Lil, got the Dino, Teddy Ursa, got the Feebas, I need a burp so bad. Feeble! Oh, okay, so we're gonna Marshadow. And then with the punches, he's putting out the candles, that's cool. Nice holo card. As I said, we're getting a lot of holos today. Third to last booster. Still be on time. Thank you so much, Pokemon Company. You made my entire day. I think the last two weeks have been super stressful getting this complete and like. I'm just really hoping you guys enjoy it. So the fact I get to finish my week off with opening a booster box like this is so much fun. And I really appreciate everyone watching and everyone that was so happy when I revealed it. Like I didn't get one bad comment about the studio. I was like, I'm really excited for you to like perfect the studio and make it literally Pokemon heaven. So like, I think my goal is to just make it an escape. If you know that you can click on an unlisted leaf video and come to this room where it's like just good vibes, it's Pokemon vibes and you know we're just going to be opening some epic products, talking about some latest Pokemon news. I think that's what I want, so I'm very thankful and even more thankful with the balls that we just got. We got one pack after this one though. I know this was a uh, solid green, but it's alright. Last boost of magic. I am very uh, fortunate with these pull rates though, because this box was pretty stacked in terms of just the hits. Gorgeous. Love the Ampharos, but let's finish on an interesting mascot. I think with the caliber of Pokemon that they put in this set, I do not know why he got the front and center one, but okay. So let's open you up. You ready? Oh, you already know if we're... Okay, he's ready. Let's do it. The final booster in the brand new stew of the unreleased set. Let's give it a go. Ready? Darkness. Tentacle. Then we've got none other. Hold on to your seats. Lotad. Pet Lil. And a Salamence to really just put the icing on the cake. Let's have a recap. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that right there wraps up our first ever Evolving Skies Booster Box opening, but also wraps up the first opening in the brand new studio. So, let me know what you think, if there are any improvements you'd make. Maybe I, I'm thinking we get a permanent thing for the recap at the back where we put the cards. I don't know. I'd love to hear about it. I really hope you enjoy it. And let's have a recap of what we got in our first ever opening. Now, I think we actually got a really stock standard right down the middle box. Definitely wasn't the worst in the world. Definitely wasn't the best, but I am stoked with our Ultra Rare. Um, and I hope you guys are as well, because I definitely think it's really cool. Got that Galarian Articuno as the reverse, the Hollows. Let's count how many we got. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, 
and seven. There's not too many. I would have thought we got a little bit more the way that I felt like the hollows are coming out, but seven hollows right there. Then we got the V cards. I love the selection. Got an Evolution. Then we got the uh, Volcarona, Noivern, Golurk, which I think is very underrated. And guys, the second best pull, easily, Umbreon V Max. Would be a relatively easy card to get, I think. But with how many cards there are in the set, I don't think any card's easy to pull. So we got the Umbreon V Max, the Draco Zolt, and then. <laughs> how did we get this? How, like, out of, you don't understand. There's like 30 or 40 secret rares we could have got instead of this one. And we go and get the piece of resistance. I love it. Hopefully you guys do as well. What a set. Demolish the like button if you're excited. Click subscribe, guys. We're going to get to 3 million subscribers this year. And I'm so pumped up. And for the first time ever, I uh, can't believe I'm saying this. Uh, thank you to the Pokemon company. And keep on gaming. I'll see you then. Oh! Felt different in the stew. Anyway, I'll see you then, guys.